In New York City, video isn't just content, it's currency. From broadcasters and brands to content creators, sports teams and financial giants, NAB Show New York brings everyone together to explore trends, talent and tech shaping the future of storytelling. Well, it wouldn't be NAB New York without talking to Simon at Bridge Technologies. We just follow you around the world, Simon. Well, it's beautiful because this, this business is truly global and that's, you know, always signified something in the broadcast business. Because even though there is small differences is how people do things around the globe, high-end, you know, broadcast is the same everywhere. And they listen to the necessity of changing this into a more IT-friendly kind of, you know, landscape. And we are trying as our best as vendors to, to fulfill that. So where do you fit in then? What solutions do you provide? Well, the, the most important part of our solutions is to make sure that you can access your media from anywhere. And that means full motion video, full audio capabilities in a browser from wherever. And that not only gives you access to the media, but also to the respectful quality of the media. So you can measure on it and be able then to do more and more remote like camera shading you can do remote like full qc you can do remote like you know slow motion you can do remote with this very very low latency feeds and that's enabling the broadcast industry to basically be done from wherever what are you specifically showcasing this time around at this show well we're now showcasing also the ability to do av sync so we have then a generator in our 440 system which can generate sync patterns where you embed data inside the video image and also in the audio image and also in the ancillary data path. And that means that in the master control room down the line, you know, after going from the venue all the way to the broadcaster, you can realign the audio and the ancillary data with the video and have perfect accurate sync down to sample level. And in terms of the clients and the potential customers that are visiting the this, this, this stand, they're presumably blown away by that and that offering and that level of detail. Yes, because one thing is to have these, these opportunities and, and, and abilities, but another thing is to have it in the same device so that you will then shrink the amount of devices you have and do more with less because that's the name of the game. And you really are making it much easier to do everyone's job. Tell us about the, the trends that you've embraced to allow this to happen? Well, first of all, it's the trend of going, first of all, we talk about going to IP, you know, IP networks and stuff like that. The most more important thing is to go to the IT so that the broadcast industry can embrace IT-based technologies and utilize that for the betterment of broadcast. Because the IT business is humongously big and we have a lot to learn by embracing that. And that's the most important part because then we can utilize commodity items like, you know, web browsers. And we can utilize, you know, devices like, let's say like the Mac Mini. It's the kind of a device for $600 and it's a pretty good converter. And we can utilize the things like the iPad Pro, which has a full HDR screen for $1,000. That's, you know, much, much lower price than the industry can make anyway. So I'm just thinking of the careers for the future. If you go into IT now and you choose a career in IT, it actually opens up a whole new world, potentially. Yes, it does, because the merging of IT and broadcast, or let me specify, IT and media is total. So if you take a good degree in, in IT and, you know, maybe some media recognition as well, you're placed very well for the future of this industry. As are you, I'm sure, Simon. <laughs> but uh, great to catch up with you and good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you.